So we're gonna start this tour out at Bolton, right in North Campus, where we're gonna walk down this sidewalk and it's gonna take us right into West Campus. Some of the things that you'll see on West Campus are mainly just residence halls. So this one is gonna go by pretty quick, but it's pretty important to know if you are a first year on campus and want to stay in any of these halls. So now we're just crossing the street and of course on this side we can see the second entrance to the Bolton Dining Commons and we're just going to go through a little path behind it real quick. And two of the first things that we can see when we get over here are two of the lower five residence halls. Both of these are first year only residence halls. And as we continue walking through this path, we're just gonna take a quick detour over here to the left. This is actually called the Legion Pool. You'll have some events, some carnivals and things that happen here, but the pool itself, I personally have never seen it open, but it's a cool thing, you know, there's a empty pool. <laughs> But other than that, some university union events will happen here. So you'll be over here every now and then. And I'm just gonna walk up those steps. When we walk up those steps, we will see where the infamous gravel lot used to be. But right now they're actually building a new residence hall. I cannot remember the name of the residence hall because it's just some random numbers, but that is also going to be a first year only dorm. And if we keep on walking down the sidewalk, we're gonna take a right real quick and then we'll show you everything else. And now the first thing that we can see over to our right is the infamous Creswell Hall. If you want to see what a dorm room looks like in this building, I'll link it in the i-cards above. This is actually where I stayed my first year, so definitely some good memories made in this building. And this is of course a first year only dorm building. And then if we turn to the right, we're going to see some of our other first year only buildings as well. And these are the three first year only building high rises that we have on campus. This first one that we see to our right is actually Russell Hall. You can't get a really good view because of the trees, but we're gonna try to get a view of the backside in a minute. And here's the other side of Russell Hall as well. And the next high rise that you can see is Brumby Hall. And these are our three, soon to be four, first year high rises on campus. And in this quad area as well, they will usually have events or different things like that. So you can always expect to see anybody just out here relaxing with their friends, throwing a frisbee around, whatever the case may be. And of course you can see this parking deck that's over here to our right. This is actually the West Campus parking deck. And the lot that we're about to get to is the West Campus parking lot. And we're just gonna cut through this lot real quick just to show you all what's on the other side of it. But let's just take a quick turn around just to show you all everything that we just looked at and this huge hill. <laughs> So on the other side of the West Campus parking lot are some areas where you can usually see a lot of people out during the hotter months of the year. We have two half court basketball courts over here on the right. And then on the left, you will actually see some tennis courts as well. So if you ever are out and you just wanna get a little quick exercise in or just wanna hang out with some friends, these are a nice place to be at. And now we're just gonna go out of the parking lot. We're gonna take a right and then go to the intersection again. And I don't even know if y'all can believe it, but we're 
already halfway through this entire tour. So we're just gonna cross this intersection and just get to the other half of West Campus. And the first thing that we're actually going to see is over here on our right. This is another high rise that we have on campus, but this is not only limited to first years. Anybody can stay in this residence hall and it's actually called Oglethorpe House. But for us on campus, we usually call it O House. And now we are actually walking up to another one of the five dining halls that we actually have on campus. This is called the O House Dining Hall. <laughs> and some things that you've seen here is actually the hibachi line is in this building as well as the taco line. Those are two of the specialty things that you will see only in O House. Now, if you just walk down that road, you will see if you go further down that side, you're gonna hit the football training facility. And you'll also, if you go straight down this road, you'll be right where we were for the South Campus tour. I wanted to take you all down this sidewalk to go right back by Bolton. But as you can see, there's a lot of construction happening. That's what happens in the summer in Athens when everybody is gone, Athens is all in repair mode. So we're gonna take a quick little detour to get right back to the sidewalk. And now you can see that we're on the other side of that sidewalk on the other side of all that construction. And if we just keep on going down this road, we'll hit right back into Bolton and Central and North Campus. Now if we take this quick left, we will see two more of the lower five hill residence halls. And both of these buildings, all the buildings in the lower five are actually first year only as well. And now we're actually walking up to our very last lower five, low rise residence hall. This is the last one out of all the five. And this is also, like I said earlier, a first year only residence hall. So like I said, this was really quick. Unfortunately, we are coming to the end of our tour here. But if you still need to know more about campus and haven't seen any other part of campus, I will be leaving a link down below to my campus tour series where you can see north campus east campus south campus west campus anything in far in between of how you can walk around campus just any of the major buildings that you will see also make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications just to know when the next video comes out and also make sure that you follow me on instagram i'm Susie Dree because of course i post on there way more often and i'm able to interact with you all all the time on there so as you guys can see, we are at the end of the tour. We've made a 
full circle and i just want you all to know that i love you all so 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 much and my name is sincerely jerry and i'll see y'all in the next video bye